There are many ways to define our fragile existence. Many ways to give it meaning. Hello YouTube, Kent from Sweden here. Hope everyone is doing fine. This is a video about conspiracy news. I don't have any specifics. I'm going to talk about conspiracy. Uh, I think conspiracy is things that higher government or whatever want to hide for the people that doesn't reach the mainstream media news. Uh, I think like AFK, people know that it's been the shot come came from another angle. And uh, of course, when you don't get the truth in the mainstream media, it becomes a conspiracy. But there are different level of conspiracies, like talking about UFOs. Everybody maybe have seen them sometimes or heard about them. And you can have a belief that's a conspiracy. But uh, more or less the last 10 years, conspiracy, I think, is what the mainstream media don't want to report because somebody don't want to report it. And internet has become such a good source to find out different angle at news. So conspiracy could be news that is hidden or some crazy conspiracy. Both is really funny. I love conspiracy. It's, uh, it's really <laughs> fun to watch and look for. Uh, but the most... <clears throat> I've been... Since 9-11, because I don't believe the official explanation, I don't have the whole truth about it. But since uh, I started to doubt that, I look for different angles on news and find a lot of things that is really strange. And I talked a lot with my wife about this, and the most stunning thing the last 2-3 years is uh, all the small parts they are putting in TV series from the States. They put it in... Uh, they have a lot of series about UFOs, you have movies about like uh, knowing that something bad is going to happen with the sun. And so there's a lot of things in TV series and movies. I'm going to play you a clip from uh, the TV series event. And I want to, this is just one example how they put different things into the TV series with a message. But it's not really a message. Uh, watch it. Okay, I tried to cut in. I tried to cut in the the clip first, but it didn't work. NBC came in from above and took it away from me. Let's try to film and see if it works better. Okay, here we go. Don't lie. I don't lie. My name is Madeline Jackson. I'm a journalist. I used to be, till I saw the light. That. Trying to speak the truth is a waste of time because nobody wants the truth. People don't want the truth. God forbid it would all go down in flames. It's the lies to keep the construct going, don't you see? Spread by the vested interests in the government and the private sector and the churches and the stock exchanges, all fabricating and spinning and telling stories that keep 300 million consumers happy and stupid and spending. Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? Just stop. I'm not the deluded one. You are. So this was a scene from the TV series The Event. And uh, uh, they make this girl look like she's crazy because she should be, believe some stuff. Um, but it, she talks a lot of sense. So that's, that's the thing. They want to make us consp they believe in conspiracy, like crazy people. But at the same time, they put a lot of these episodes in TV series and movies. And they made TV series about conspiracies. So it's really strange. And what I don't understand with the, even my wife, who don't believe the same things I do all the time, really reacts when she <laughs> hears those stuff in movies and TV series. She likes to look at me and shakes her head. So... And you have Glenn Beck and all those shows. So it's really strange. It's like they're trying to prepare us for some, prepare us for something. And about, I just want to take some example. Just a week ago, with this missile without outside Los Angeles, that most of us can see it's a missile. It's not a plane, and they really haven't come out and explained it. So it's really strange. I mean, this thing with Obama, his birth certificate. Why don't they come out and really explain it? plain and simple if it's so easy to explain so that's how conspiracies builds momentum and becomes uh, things they can't really 
uh, ignores. So, and I'm thinking about Bush when he came out on the election tra train when he was out talking to people when he explained that when he saw the first plane on 9/11 flew into the building on TV in the schools. So, I mean, those those images came out came up the day after. So that is really a a seed for a conspiracy. So. Anyhow, uh, in few, I, I'm, I, this was just an explanation about how I feel about conspiracy, and it's it's more or less things that they don't explain in the mainstream media, or or that get some momentum and uh, lives their own life. So uh, it's it's like they're preparing us for something. The the last five years has been uh, a lot of uh, conspiracies in TV series and movies, so it's quite interesting. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to do it like this, when I see something interesting, uh, like a conspiracy theory of something, I'm going to uh, explain it, make a link, and uh, put uh, my thoughts on it. So, everybody, take care, I hope you have a nice day, bye.